Logging data with LIBCM is fairly straightforward. Uh, this is a very useful feature uh, for troubleshooting issues. If you're having issues, I'm probably gonna ask you to log some data here. So to do it, the first thing we need to do is grab our USB cable that plugs into LIBCM. Now, the cables I included are not long enough to leave the laptop in the back of the car here. Uh, you'll need to put it in the passenger seat, uh, but just for this video, it's easier to show it in the back of the car. So we'll go ahead and plug the cable in. And we do need to make sure the car is off when we plug this cable in or you'll get a P1648 error because plugging in the USB cable will reset LIBCM when you do that. So once we've done that, again, while the car is still off, we need to make sure that we have the correct processor selected. So we've got Arduino open here. And so we'll, we'll go to board and make sure this says Mega 2560. If it doesn't, you can come in here and make sure you select the Mega 2560 there. If you've already installed the firmware, that will already be that way. If you haven't, you'll need to set that. Uh, next, we're gonna make sure that again, where you have the 2560 selected here under processor. And then the last thing we're gonna do is make sure on port, we need to select this device. So because there's no check mark here now, we haven't selected the device. If I now go back and look at it again, you'll see there is a check mark there, which means that the device is now selected. So uh, we don't need to install the firmware. So typically we would click this upload button, which I am not doing right now. Instead, we're gonna actually open the serial monitor window. And again, the car needs to be off when you open this, this uh, serial monitor window because it does reset LIBCM when you open it. So you'll see, you'll get this standard startup text here uh, where it's telling you the version, you know, the state of charge, whatever. Uh, and I'm gonna zoom back out now and we can basically turn the ignition on and we can start and drive the car now just like normal. And so we're gonna turn this on. I, have, of course, I haven't started the car because I'm in the garage. You can see that LIBCM is just spitting out data here. I'm gonna turn this music off, get my YouTube strike. Let's get rid of that there. Okay, so you can see that we're now just logging data. LIBCM just outputs this data every, you know, I think four times a second or whatever. So now you just drive around per normal. And whenever you're done, you can turn the key off, which I will do now. And after the IMA system turns off, which is something the MCM controls, we'll actually see that here. It'll say uh, key off or whatever. Once you have this data, you can just put it in a text file and I'll show that to you in a minute. So you can see we've turned the key off and we, we've done a few things we do. We calibrate our current sensor, we figure out the state of charge and we tell you how many hours we've been running. So once you've logged this data, um, you can basically click anywhere in this window and do control A or Apple A and then copy this text with an Apple or a Control C, and then go to a text editor and just paste it there. And then you can just save it to the desktop and then post it online. So wh whatever you got there, and then you can post this file. Um, the Arduino uh, serial monitor will log about, I think it's about four megabytes of data. It's, it's more than half an hour. So you can drive for up to about half an hour. Uh, after that, it's just gonna get rid of the oldest information, uh, but it is, you, you get quite a bit of data you can store in here. So these parameters are really useful for me, particularly when uh, issues occur, because I actually will output uh, debug text that'll say, you know, what, you know whatever the issue is, uh, if, if the issue is known or whatever. So anyway, that is how you log data here. Um, yeah, that's a great troubleshooting tool. So please, you know, use that as a troubleshooting tool. Uh, send it my way if you have issues.